Mighty Morphin Power Rangers has seen a major resurgence in the comic scene for those who aren't familiar. Um, if you follow me on Instagram at aka Mr. Bolo or the com at Comic Book Invest CBSI account, you know that a regular book that we have boloed is that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number nine, the first appearance of Lord Draken. Um, we have also talked about Go Go Power Rangers number eight, the first appearance of the Ranger Slayer. Two of the newest characters in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers universe. We've really kind of taken collectors by storm. I would love, I would love to know, kind of dating back to the first time we saw anything on Lord Draken, we saw that YouTube um, kind of vignette or video that uh, Jason David Frank was involved in, um, which kind of was the hype for the Lord Draken uh, appearance. I would love to know how did all of this come to be? How was how was this character kind of conceived, and wh what has it meant for the Boom franchise having, or the Battle of Power Ranger franchise on Boom having Lord Draken become such a hit with collectors and readers, and especially old school Mighty Morphin Power Rangers fans? Yeah, uh, so I joined Boom just as Draken was being introduced. So one of the first things I was involved with was trying to drive up sales for. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number nine. So uh, I am going to uh, man. I, I'm you're gonna you're gonna you're you're like Chris Jericho. You are gonna put me on the list right now. I can see you getting the pen ready to click it. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna do another uh, Bolo Audible, which is uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number nine. That first appearance of Lord Draken. Uh, seriously, get your copies graded. Trust me. Get your copies graded. Make sure. I know everybody chases that second printing, the uh, Goni Montez cover. I get why. It's beautiful. But make sure you get, like, even that regular cover. I think people are sleeping on that one. Yeah, that one is that one is hot. And I've seen some people talking about it lately, including yourself. So thank you for that. You're the ones who've been tagging me. I know you're paying attention to it. You also tagged the first appearance of the Ranger Slayer in Go Go Power Rangers. Um, number eight, yeah. Make sure you have those because uh, those characters, uh, we're really proud of the characters. And what I can tell you is that, you know, um, Daphne Plebin, who's uh, the editor on Power Rangers book here, Kyle Higgins, who was writing the Power Rangers book and had an incredible, iconic run on it, um, along with the team at uh, Saban, now with Hasbro, um, really were trying to create something special and cool. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, we all know Tommy's like the, the goat of the Power Rangers franchise. And uh, they found a way to, I think, to take the best of, um, of, uh, of the Power Rangers and do something cool with it, which is like, what if there was an actual evil version of that guy? And so uh, that was a lot. Of, that was a really cool thing to walk into because fans lost their minds. I lost my mind as a fan. And then Shattered Grid, you're talking about the trailer for that. Um, you know, I, when I was at Marvel, I mentioned Tim Dillon over there, him, uh, myself, and then James Viscardi, who actually runs comicbook.com now. But used to be uh, used to work for me at Marvel. We're all connected. Um, uh, he, uh, we, we, we used to work on a lot of trailers at Marvel. For uh, you can go and search on YouTube and find trailers for Uncanny X Force, uh, Amazing Spider-Man, Big Time, uh, for Siege, for some other ones. But when I came here, I'm like, you know what? I don't see a lot of comics trailers anymore. And thanks to our friends at uh, Saban, Melissa Flores. Uh, Jason Bischoff, um, a lot of good folks there. We were able to uh, we were able to work with Jason David Frank, who we work with a bunch, and get him on to do the audio. His first time ever doing audio as as Lord Draken and narrate this really cool trailer. Um, and that thing did over a million unique views for us in less than 24 hours, which for a comics trailer is gigantic. And um, I think two million view over two million views in, in less than 48 hours. So that was big for us. And Draken, I think, has been a, a, uh, the torchbearer and the signal bearer for like um, what we're doing with Power Rangers. We're telling stories in Power Rangers canon. This is not a, a, this is not a reboot. Some, some aspects may be remixed because the clothes are a bit different or the references are newer. But this is in canon. And um, we're, ba we're telling these stories and finding new areas of the world because the, the Power Rangers mythos is so rich. We're finding new ways to uh, tell stories in that world. And like, look, I don't know how many of you uh, have your graded um, Goni Montez Power Rangers uh, zeros. Um, but, uh, you know, since the beginning, we've been trying to tell really cool stories with this series. 
we went from shattered grid to beyond the grid where we created a whole new team of, uh, of characters. Uh, or we brought together a new team of characters who you just learned in Power Rangers 38, which just came out a couple of weeks ago. You saw the first appearance of the Solar Rangers in their new costumes. Now, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 39 is their first appearance on a cover, but Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 38 is the first appearance of the Solar Rangers in their all new costumes, their Solar Ranger costumes. And the Solar Rangers, while Marguerite's uh, uh, amazing work writing a uh, um, Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers will wrap up soon. The Solar Rangers are important. And remember, Ranger Slayer is on that team. And so uh, that was a real big one for us. And um, I think with the spirit of Lord Drac and an introduction, it's really a big part of what has inspired Necessary Evil. So Necessary Evil is a new Power Rangers story uh, event beginning in pa Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 40 in June. Uh, Ryan Parrott, who's been writing amazing stuff on Go Go Power Rangers, is coming over. He's going to be writing both books. He's going to be co-writing Go Go Power Rangers with Cena Grace. But Mighty Morphin, a necessary evil, it brings us back to Angel Grove with the Power Rangers and the White Ranger. And if you're reading this book, uh, you got a whole bunch of questions because the last time we saw the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, they disappeared in the white light at the end of Shattered Grid. And of course, you knew they'd be back. We're in continuity. But you're like, how did we come back? Who is the White Ranger? How do we have a White Ranger here? Where have the Power Rangers been? What happened after Shattered Grid? And why does no one remember what, ha what happened in Shattered Grid? So those are all the mysteries we're going to be exploring with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Go Go Power Rangers. So Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 40 is the first, uh, first Necessary Evil uh, chapter tie-in. And then that's in June. And in July, uh, Go Go Power Rangers 21, is, uh, which brings Tommy to that cast, um, it, it's set in their high school days there. That explores also what um, uh, happened after Shattered Grid. And they're, and like always, Go Go Power Rangers and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers take place in two different times within the same continuity. But like Shattered Grid, you will see important details in both books. So you could have read just, in, in, in Shattered Grid, you could have just read Go Go Power Rangers and you would have got a complete story and met uh, Ranger Slayer. But if you just read Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you would have been good too, but you never would have met the Ranger Slayer till the end. It, it looks like the next big thing for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is coming in issue 40. Um, and and lots of buzz around the issue. Um, it, basically, what can you tell us about the issue uh, and any other ones that we may need to look out for um, in that run? My personal big bolo for everybody is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 40 has the first appearance of a team of Power Rangers. So the characters are characters you know, but new a new team of Power Rangers with new costumes and a new name. Their first appearance is in Power Rangers 40. And let me tell you, for me as a fan, it is the biggest thing we've done in Power Rangers comics. That's me being honest with you. I'm not trying to hype you up. It is the, it is, it is like there's a big piece of Power Rangers canon that fans like myself have always wanted to see explained um, or explained more. I don't want to tip my hand completely. And I think when you see who these uh, three new Power Rangers are who are a bit obscured on the cover to Power Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 41, when you see who they are, you're going to be shocked that that is the thing we are tackling and that that is the actual answer. And when you realize what the answer is, and it'll take you a couple of issues to explain it all, um, you're going to be like, holy crap. I knew what was coming, and I just read a PDF of Power Rangers 40 today. And I was like, oh, when you get to that last page, you're like, no way. That's like, it's so perfect. And it's, oh, it's so perfect. Um, also on those issues, we're bringing these Goni Montez covers back on Power Rangers 40 to 49, but we're doing foil versions of them. So the White Ranger covers on Power Rangers 40. So those foil versions, um, you know, uh, you're de they're, they are, if, if you guys know anything about the Goni Montez covers, they're hot. They're always hot. Um, but uh, these are open to order for retailers. So hopefully your local retailer stocked up really well on these. But I have a feeling that these are going to be pretty popular as well.
So that's, again, that's another major bolo there, guys, if you've heard us talk about Shattered Grid. Shattered Grid kicked off with issue number 25. We it, it, Already we've talked about the first appearances of the Ranger Slayer and Go-Go Power Rangers number 8, Lord Draken and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 9. But also when that Shattered Grid storyline kicked off with issue number 25, issue number 25 still sells 15 to $20 in various printings as well as those variants where you see the Rangers those are hitting several of those into the 20s. So keep an eye out. Be on the lookout for issue number 40. Hasn't come out yet. Again, hit your LC up for pre-order. Take a look at those incentives. Check out the Boom web store, which also does pre-orders. Um, and be sure to be looking out for that, as well as issue 41, which I think has an interesting, um, uh, interesting solicitation as well. And there could be some value going in there.